This retail trade analysis report from Mason City, Iowa it can be found at icip.iestate.edu. This is the key retail indicators for Mason City. Under total taxable sales, we see a slight increase of about uh, 0.7. Under number of reporting firms, a slight decrease from 985 to 983. Population, also a small decrease. Uh, average sales per firm, a 0.9 increase. And average sales per capita, 0.9 increase. This is the chart of the total taxable retail sales and number of reporting firms in Mason City. The top portion of the chart is real sales and millions of dollars, and the bottom is the reporting firms for Mason City. It's interesting to note that in the top portion of the graph, that's pretty much what we see in Iowa as well as the United States as far as a recession is concerned. We see this sharp decrease in 2010 and then steadily building uh, back in 2012. But notice in the reporting firms we do see a lag period of time before we see uh, the 2010 and 2011 uh, reporting firms of uh, 1016 and 985. The taxable retail sales per capita is indicating that uh, Mason City has been a retail trade center for many many years. As we can see almost double of what uh, is normal for the state of Iowa. So we can see that uh, Mason City is actually drawing in a number of, of people outside of their population. The population trends have actually been a little bit below the 2002 population. Uh, not as low as Cerro Gordo County, which Mason City is a part of, but Mason City in the red you'll see has, has been dropping, whereas the state of Iowa has actually been increasing uh, in population. This is a uh, peer group top 10, uh, so to speak, and Mason City is, is number three with 19,941 in uh, capital sales. Um, Fort Dodge, Muscatine, Ottumwa, those that are similar in sales, you'll see that uh, Mason City is at the top of that uh, particular group. But, but also notice that Spencer and Carroll, just because you're a regional trade center, does not mean that you necessarily have thousands and thousands of population. Uh, they're also coming in uh, significantly higher than Mason City. Some of that's geographical. Some of it is actually the offerings that they're pre preparing for their retail trade customers. The estimated trade area capture is actually looking at a retail bundle per population. And so when you take a look at Mason City's population, which is in blue, that's representative of the annualized number of shoppers that we have. Uh, what's actually taking place then when you look at the, the dotted red line is that that's the number of shoppers that they're actually attracting that is far and above what the population of, of uh, Mason City actually is. This retail pull factor comparison uh, with uh, Mason City's peer group is similar to the last slide that we have, but what we're looking at now is we're looking at this break-even point of 1.0. Anything below that break-even point is probably where someone um, in your community is having to go outside um, your community to actually purchase something. Anything above uh, 0 0.01 is where we're bringing in more customers than what we have as a population base. And so generally, as you can see here in Mason City, uh, they've been pretty substantial as a retail trade center for quite some time. Uh, and folks take a look at this because they're trying to figure out how many more dollars can we be bringing into this retail trade center uh, for our customers. And so th th this is something that people watch as far as a pull factor comparison right now. Uh, the peer uh, median is in blue and that's 1.42 but Mason City is in uh, red with 1.79 so folks will be watching for that. This retail trade analysis report for Mason City, Iowa it can be found at icip.iestate.edu.